Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going by weekly contest 62nd Q2. Number of pairs of strings with concatenation equal to target. So this one was a weird one for me. I actually end up taking longer than I normally would have um, because I just thought this was a little too straightforward. Um, I think this problem is a problem in kind of looking at the problem constraints and being really uh, careful with it, right? Um, and in this case, being not careful about it. Because if you look at the lengths, then um, n is 100. Each each length can be 100. So then um, that means that if you do 100 times 100 and then a linear times that, so for every i and every j, you, you do a concatenation, it's going to be n or it's going to be 100 cube, um, and then you just compare it to the target. Um, but that is actually still 100 square, oh, sorry, 100 cube. So, so that's going to be fast enough. So, yeah, in these problems, don't overguess it, don't overplay it. Um, just do what you look at the constraints very carefully, do the math, and do what you have to do. And that's basically my solution here. So hit, I don't know if I said it already because I forget, but hit the like button, subscribe and join me on Discord. But also you can watch me solve it live next because I got a little confused, but this is literally for I and J. If I is not equal to J, we just concat it um, because know that at concatenation is not um, commutative. So that's why you have to do it this way instead of just like for I to J. I mean, you could write it a different way, but, but yeah, if this is equal to target, you increment by one. And that's pretty much it. So this is going to be O of N, this is O of N, and this is O of M, I guess, where M is the length of the strings. So, yeah. And, of course, in Python, string comparisons are actually eh, pretty fast. But that said, still 100 cube or N squared times M or something like that. And in terms of space, we do actually construct a bit. You can actually walk the, the strings um, to kind of get this into constant space, but... Technically speaking, that's not what I did here because we create a lot of extra strings. But yeah, um, but the strings are small, so maybe that's okay. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. You could watch me sub live during the contest next. Yeah, okay, that looks good. So let's give it a submit. Hopefully that's right. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, that's silly on my part, obviously. I don't that hmm. Why would that be wrong? Wow. I, I should have just wrote a re regular loop instead of trying to be clever, but um hmm. One, two. Did I mess that up? Hmm. Uh, I guess I did. Uh, silly mistake. Uh, okay. Tried to be too clever. Should've just did a regular for loop. Wasted a lot of time. Okay, let's see. Focus. Clear up. Uh, okay. What a silly mistake. A little tilted on that one. Mm, is it just two full loops? I don't get it. I don't get this one. Hmm. Okay, I just, that was too easy for me to get confused about. First day back dumbness. Okay, you have an answer key. Hmm. 
<sighs> so okay maximum of consecutive okay sliding window is done um yeah Where is it? Well, yes, but uh, just coding, code, code it, Larry. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, especially if, like contest prompts. Come and hang out and. Chat about contest problems uh, after the contest. Anyway, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.